Hi again, everybody. This is Jared Ronsky from SportsAnnouncing.com, and we're going to take a look at some of the new features in the new version of Sports Sounds Pro version 6.0.13, which was released on May 1st of 2016. A couple of the features that Bill Bushmeyer put in, one of which is the, is the ability now to drag sounds and put them right into Sports Sounds Pro. It's an awesome feature, love doing it, and it this has made things a lot easier. You can now take a whole file full of songs, put it into a folder, drag them onto the screen, and you're all set and ready to go. The other feature that we're going to look at, it's not really a new feature, it's just a renaming of the .ini file that has now been taken over. It's now a .inf. We'll take a look at that in a couple of minutes, but first I want to tell you about this new feature. You see here, I've got some spots that are open on this screen. I want to put a couple of songs in here. So say I want to come up here and put Lenberry123. I want to put that on the screen. I can now take it if it's on the desktop, if it's in a folder, if it's in an external device like a thumb drive or a uh, external hard drive. You can now take it, open it up, and then just drag it over. You need to maintain the same path, so it's still what we've talked about before is putting the, the files into a specific folder. So if you move the files after you've already loaded them into Sports Sounds Pro, they're not going to find where they need to go to, so it's going to come up as missing a, a, the sound. So right here, this is actually one of my file folders that I'm using that I uh, put a lot of the stuff that I've added recently in. So if I want to, I take this, just click on it, and drag over. And you can put it anywhere on the screen, but it's going to come up right here. Then you see it, Lenberry123. It's going to put that in there because it's going to put it in the first spot that's available. So you can click it. And you see right here that it's playing. You can see it right on the screen that it's playing. You're all set, ready to go. You've added the song in there very simply. Now we're going to fade it out. Now you can also do a couple of things. There's three songs. Drag them over. One, two, three. I know a lot of you are looking at that right now going, wait a minute, what did I just see? Okay, I'll do it again. I want to take Parliament, Quiet Riot, and let's say Rush. Those three songs. You can do it with any number that you want, but the way you do this, you hold down the control button on your keyboard as you're clicking each one. You see they're all highlighted, and just for fun, I'm going to add in Hardwell Countdown. I love that song. I don't know why. Just It's the fun song that I've enjoyed listening to, the Dance House song. Now, you see how you have the four of them here, one, two, three, four. They're highlighted. Click on one, drag over, and you'll see one, two, three, four. Those four buttons will populate as soon as I let go of the mouse. Boom. There they are. You'll also notice Hardwell, first one, Parliament, second, Quiet Riot, third, Rush, into that fourth box that we were putting in there. It's an awesome feature. It's going to make loading sounds so much simpler. So if you have one of the what I call a mega library, where you haven't really organized your sounds, but you have them in one folder, say it's C uh, Music, and you have literally everything in one folder, you can now go pick through and then drag over, put it on the screen. Now if they're not in the spot that you want to, just hit button drag up here. You can drag them around. Just like we've seen before. And if you drag it over onto the same button, it'll just flip-flop the two sounds. But you see how easy it is to do this. It's an awesome feature, and Bill put it in. It's, it's one of those that it just makes things so much simpler for everybody. Now, one of the other things that we talked about is the .ini file. This used to be ss.ini file. This was the file that you would need to make sure it would, you would take with you from machine to machine that would have all your settings in it. It is now a .inf file. All you got to do is in the newer version 6.0.13 or higher, uh, right now .13 is the latest version that's out there, make sure you take this file with you. If you have any earlier version 6.0.12 or earlier, all you have to do is upgrade Go to, the set, go to the website, sportsoundspro.com, download the new version. It will actually update that for you. I didn't have to do a thing with that. So it's all set, all ready to go, and you can now do a lot of things a lot quicker, a lot better, make things a lot easier. Where this new feature comes into play 
If you have a national anthem singer that comes in and has a backing track, you can drop that in there. If you have somebody that's coming in doing a lip sync battle, you can now put the songs in there that they want that they've already edited. You have a dance troupe that comes in. You can very simply, they put it on a flash drive, any sort of device. They can email it to you. You put it on your desktop and then just drag it over, put it in. It's that simple. You will need to shrink the size of Sports Sounds Pro to do it. In fact, this version, this one right here is actually at about three quarters of the size of my screen. That allows me to do this. Once you're done, you can then expand to a full size screen. If I do that right now, it's going to mess up everything with how the, uh, the screen video is recording. If you have the superstars that come in, the famous chicken that comes in, you have any, like the monkey rodeo, you have any of the traveling acts that go around through professional sports, they want a soundtrack. All you have to do, plug that flash drive into the computer, have it pull up, drag the sound over, put it in there, and play. You need to keep that flash drive in there. Like we said, you need to maintain that path back to the original sound that you're trying to play. So if you want to take it, drag it, put it into a temporary folder, and then from the, that temporary folder put it in the Sports Sounds Pro, you can do that. It's a great new feature that's been added on, and we hope that you really enjoy it. We already have. As soon as we found out about it, we played around with it a little bit and had a great time, and hope you do too. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. That's dj at sportsannouncing.com. Be more than happy to answer them for you. If there's any other videos you'd like us to do, send me an email. Be more than happy to sit down, see what I can't do to put something together for you to help you out. And keep having fun out there. It looks like it's going to be a great baseball season because, you know, it's May. we got the independent leagues that are starting up, short season leagues starting up, minor league baseball, major league baseball has already been going. You're going to have summer leagues and all kinds of other fun things going on over the summer. So have a great year. Keep up the fun. And keep doing the jobs well, everybody.